the European Boxing Union have removed the BDB as a full member of their organization and demoted it to now being a provisional member. This is the second time that the European Boxing Union have done this. For those of you who don't know, the BDB is the German Boxing Commission. It's the German equivalent of the British Board of Boxing Control. They are the body which sanctions all the, or the vast majority of fights in Germany, the BDB. Now, the European Boxing Union, who obviously have the European uh, titles and whatnot, you know, they're, they're a, you know, a large organization, powerful organization within boxing. The first time they demoted the BDB to a provisional member was following the, uh, the, the, the revelation about er Erkan Tepper. This was in 2015, I believe, if memory serves me correctly, of Erkan Tepper failing these drug tests. And the reason why, or seem, this, seemingly the reason why the European Boxing Union decided to demote BDB at that time is because apparently or allegedly the BDB had knowledge of Erkan Tepper's failed test a long time before it came out in the press. And apparently, allegedly, they hadn't taken any action against Erkan Tepper for several weeks or months. So the EBU weren't happy with that. And they said, right, we're going to demote you to provisional members instead of full members. Later on, that decision was reversed. I guess once Erkan Tepper was banned and the BDB was once again made a, a full member of the EBU. But since Erkan Tepper has actually fought again in Germany, the European Boxing Union have now demoted the BDB again. I don't know exactly the ramifications or the consequences of the, the BDB being demoted by, you know, like this again. I don't know what happens, how it's any different for the BDB when, it, when fighters within Germany contest for EBU titles. I don't know if there's any, you know, type of, difference there maybe some of you can enlighten me in the comment section below if you know more about G german boxing or boxing in germany than i do but it is a pretty interesting uh situation incidentally i'm not 100 percent sure about this i could very well be wrong but i think the bdb the german boxing authority may be the people who do the drug testing for Vladimir Klitschko fights. I could be wrong about that, but you let me know in the comment section below if it is actually the BDB that do the drug testing for Vladimir Klitschko fights. That's very alarming, isn't it? Because this seems to be an organization with very few scruples as an outsider looking in. They allegedly didn't tell the EBU or tell anybody or tell the press about... Erkan Tepper being busted for drugs and taking all types of different drugs until several weeks or a couple months after the fact. And now they've allowed Erkan Tepper to fight again, what, a year after he, he got banned or less than a year? So you really have to look at the BDB as an organization and think, are they really the most trustworthy? And if... Again, I'm not sure about this, but if it's them doing drug testing for Vladimir Klitschko fights, and obviously, you know, if they are doing testing for Vladimir Klitschko fights, there could be many other fights they're doing the drug testing for. You have to call the whole thing into question. Why haven't they been more strict in terms of the ban that they've given Erkan Tepper? You know? Drop your comments in the comment section below, people. Let me know how you feel about this. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.